Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. If you're a fan of horror, you came to the right place. You clicked on the right video. I appreciate you. I really do. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite horror movies from my collection. Um, now, these aren't necessarily the best horror movies. This isn't a ranking video. It's just me, you know, looking through my collection, uh, looking at my horror titles and thinking, which ones are my favorites? Which ones do I like the most? What are my like top tier horror movies that I own? Now, granted, I don't own every horror movie. There's a lot of holes in my collection that I'm trying to fill in slowly but surely. Now, quick disclaimer before I begin. Last thing, I promise. Uh, not all of these are like 100% pure horror. Some of them are like more suspenseful thrillers, psychological type of horror movies, but I included them. They're still horror nonetheless. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. First up, in no particular order, we got The Shining. The Shining is a fantastic horror classic. You got Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, who put on some of the best performances in a horror movie that I've ever seen. Love the location, the Overlook Hotel. Just, you know, great, great movie, great score. And the 4K looks fantastic, by the way. Could have been shot yesterday. And uh, great steelbook, too. Love it. Pretty sure you have seen The Shining. If you haven't, just stop watching and go watch The Shining. Next up, Child's Play. Love Chucky as a horror icon. I just saw this, um, not for the first time, but it was a rewatch. I just saw it again a couple of days ago. And I love this movie. I have such a blast with it. Uh, Chucky is hilarious. Um, this is a great movie if you're like a horror newbie and you don't know where to start. I would recommend Child's Play because it's not over the top scary. It has scary moments, but it's fun. It's um, funny at times. It's got you got the you got the knife. You got Chucky chasing people. It's it's a good time. It's a great time. I love that movie. X is one of those movies that's not pure horror, but um, you know that's Ten Cloverfield Lane. When I first saw this, I saw it in theaters, and I actually saw it in theaters twice. I don't do that very often. I usually just go to the movies, watch a movie once, and then I'll watch it again at home. But I did go to the theater twice for this one. Uh, I did love it. Uh, I still love it. I think it's a great suspenseful thriller. Um, the performances by John Goodman and Mary Elizabeth Winstead are, you know, so, so good. I can't say that enough. Um, and you got that supporting actor um i don't know his name but he's also good in this but yeah 10 chlorophyll lane i mean great movie takes you in different directions there's twists there's turns you don't know where it's going and i i was a fan of the ending i thought it was good i enjoyed it great movie um i think that when it came out it didn't get quite the love that it deserves but over the years um, i've noticed more and more people giving it its proper love giving it the recognition which i'm glad i'm glad next up horror classic that's john carpenter's 1978 halloween what can i say about this movie that hasn't already been said i mean michael myers i mean come on michael myers michael myers i love michael myers um probably my favorite horror icon and not to mention this iconic score Anybody, people who don't even like horror know who Michael Myers is. They recognize that theme song. Uh, they know who Laurie Strode is. They know who Dr. Loomis is. Enough said. I mean, a few more to go here. This next movie is more of a more of a modern horror. That's The Invisible Man, directed by Lee Whannell, starring Elizabeth Moss there on the cover. Um, I remember this movie came out during the pandemic, and I rented it loved it bought it i know the the concept for the invisible man is it was nothing new obviously it came out what in the 30s for the first time i believe but i think that the filmmakers did a fantastic job of retelling the story in a fresh new way you know including some technology in there and i think the invisible man himself was super clever super well done and, and did i mention the acting is just phenomenal in this i mean Great movie, great movie. I need to revisit it for sure, but 
love it. Next, another one location movie, uh, that's Misery. And I'm, I'm noticing a trend here. The acting in these horror movies is just top notch. You got James Caan and Kathy Bates in this. And um, I love this movie. I love the chemistry between these two leads. Um, you know, just following Kathy Bates' character, you don't really know what her motives are. And uh, it's just it's a thrill ride from start to finish. This movie blew me away when I first saw it. Uh, pretty recently, actually, even though this movie is over 30 years old. Saw it not too long ago and knocked my socks off. Hard recommend. This next movie, um, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't really classify it as horror. I will though, just for the sake of this video. And that's Tremors. Um, I remember watching this movie long, long ago. Uh, and it wasn't that scary, but it has some horror elements. I saw it again recently and I gave it a 5 out of 5. This movie is fantastic. From the practical effects, the story, the kills, just the comedy. It's all there. It's it's done very, very well. This is Filmmaking 101 right here. If you, if you, seen it, if you haven't seen this, check it out. Just the way it was shot, the effects. It's just 10 out of 10. And last but not least... Um, a controversial filmmaker, to say the least. I feel like either you love him or you hate him. Or you could be in the middle, I guess. That's probably where I am. Rob Zombie, baby. That's right. This is a Rob Zombie trilogy. This includes House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, Three from Hell. I'm... Uh, specifically referring to Devil's Rejects. That's my choice. House of a Thousand Corpses is fine. Uh, Three from Hell is garbage. But Devil's Rejects is where it's at. Um, I saw that movie um, at an age where I probably shouldn't have been watching Devil's Rejects, but it messed me up. It messed me up. It made me the man who I am today. Um... No, but Devil's Rejects is a fantastic movie. I re recommend Bill Mosley, which is this guy right here. It's just one sadistic dude, one creepy dude who I would not want to run into in real life. Um, and, and Sid Haig, of course. Rest in peace. Great actor. But yeah, Devil's Rejects. Definitely recommend that movie. Not for horror newbies, though. Not for horror newbies more like horror veterans check it out but not because of the scary the scariness but the gore the yeah anyways that's gonna do it everybody thank you so much for watching um please like the video subscribe if you haven't already and if i missed out on any movies please let me know what are some of your favorites what are some horror essentials that you watch every October? Which ones should I have included on in my list? Let me know. Really appreciate it. Let's start a conversation. But anyways, happy spooky season, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your October, November, the rest of the year. Enjoy it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.